Okay, for questions 22 through 30, on 22, when you look at the, the three statements that you have, 9 is going in for TR in the second statement to create the third statement, and that's the substitution property. On 23, the diagram, you've got the x's are here and here, which means that they're in vertical angles. So using vertical angles, you know, vertical angles are congruent, so we can set those two statements equal to each other and solve for x. On number 24, a linear pair means that the two angles add up to 180. And so we can solve the equation and we get angle 1 equals 86. On 25, uh, our reason for the very first one, it was up here in the given, so that's just given. On 2, they were, the angles 1 and 2 are complements, and 1 and 3 are complements, and complement means they add up to 180, or add up to 90, so that's the definition of complementary. The transitive property, if two things are set equal to the same thing, because both of those are set equal to 90, then you can set them equal to each other. And so that's the transitive property. And then they both have measure angle 1. So if you subtract measure angle 1 from both sides, you're left with measure angle 1 equals measure angle 2. And angles having equal measure is the definition of congruence. So the two angles must be congruent. On uh, A, we've got 4 and 5 marked over there. And those are same side interior. For 1 and 7, those are alternate exterior. For 4 and 3, or 3 and 4, those are a linear pair. They create a straight line. 8 and 6 are vertical angles. And 3 and 5 are alternate exterior. Or, sorry, alternate interior. On 27, angle 3 is corresponding to ang the angle that's marked at 125 degrees. So that means that angle 3 equals 125. 3 and 4 are creating a linear pair, so they add up to 180. So if you add the 2, and you equal 180, meaning that angle 4 is 55 degrees. On 28, uh, angles 2 and 6 are complementary or sorry, corresponding. And so since the two angles are corresponding, the lines must be parallel by the converse of the corresponding angles theorem. Okay. If you remember back, you have this angle and this exterior angle should add up to 180. what happened to my hold on I accidentally hit something on the screen okay those two angles are congruent or a linear pair and these three angles have to add up to 180 that means that these two angles have to be congruent to that one so that's where that statement is coming from and then I don't know why that disappeared but it did so we're just gonna deal with it uh, or here I can write it back up there for you we had X plus 45 <laughs> it's pretty bad equals 2x minus 2 that's what, what disappeared somehow okay continue going on we solve and we get x equals 47 okay on number 30 uh, y and n are in corresponding parts of congruent triangles, therefore y must equal 24.